In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom date parts. So free, if we use our favorite measure cells and bring it into the view like this, and let's just bring other dates in here. Let's bring other date in here. As you can see, we have year and then we have month, quarter, then we have month, right? But what if I don't want quarter there and I don't want year there? I only want month. But every time I bring this month into the view, I have to manually select it. I don't want that. I just want to drag month into the view and let's just only have month and also this is also good for your user right because if you have other date yeah right here your user have to click on this and then click on this to get a month and they have to take this out and take this out to get to just month on the view and next time and this may not be like ideal for yourself or for the person you're creating this visualization for. So we can create a custom date part that just has a month with it. And of course we could just also choose month continuous. So to create a custom date part, we go to order date, right click and let's go to create custom date. And let's call this discrete month. And as you can see um, right here, you can, for you to create a discrete month, you have to choose date part. For you to create a continuous month, use date value. So from this drop down, we'll choose month and then we'll click on date part and then we click OK. As you can see here, we now have a new dimension that just has order date month. And we know it's a discrete value because it's blue. And we also know it's a calculated value because it has this equal to sign. Now, if Instead of having this month with hierarchies that could even be expanded into weeks, into day, what we can just do, we can just have month in our view. So if we take this out and bring our new calculated field into the view, as you can see, our new calculated view field is just months and there's no hierarchy you can't expand this further into lower date part you just have months and this is discrete and for um we can also do this for continuous date part okay so to create a continuous date part you just come to other date again and let's create custom date and let's call this continuous and let's go to month and let's go to month and in this case instead of going with date parts we'll go with date value and we click ok and because this is a date value it is green and it has this equal to sign to show us that this is a calculated field now if I bring this into the view, as you can see here, when I add, when I brought this into the view, it went all the way to the end. It's not added here. And then let's take this out. And now we have a continuous date value here. So there's no hierarchy. We can't drill down a step further to like, let's say weeks or anything like that. So originally, if we just brought that part in here, we have to click on this and click on this for us to get a month. And then we have to remove this and remove this for us to just have month. And also from here, we could click and get a step further, but we don't want any of this extra stuff. We just want month. 
So in Tableau, you can only replace continuous values with continuous values. Let me show you what I mean. If I bring order date here, if I bring, let's see, if I bring um, discrete date here, we could add discrete date, we could replace this month that's already there with our new month column, not a problem, but if we bring a continuous date part, we cannot replace a discrete date part with a continuous date part. If we add this here, it will drop to the end of it. Now, um, but this is blue. We can replace it with another blue with something like this one. And let's change this to... Let's change this to continuous month. Now, if we bring um, our discrete month, it's not. It won't be able to. It won't be able to replace the green one. If you drop it there, it will just be added to it, and it will be added to the left side of it. But we could replace the month, the continuous field month, with the continuous month that we created, like that. So I wanted to show you that you can only replace continuous values with continuous values and you can only replace discrete values with discrete values here in the view in the columns and rows but what what if you want a hierarchy in your date you can also create hierarchies um using your custom date so to do that let's go back to order date create custom date and in this case let's just say discrete year and let's choose years here we want it to be a date part and we click ok and now we just take um, our discrete month and drop it on top of our discrete year and then we call this one year and month and as you can see, this is creating a hierarchy. We click OK. And now we have a hierarchy right here. And if we bring this into the view and take this out. So now we have a discrete year and we can drill down into the discrete month, but we can't go any deeper than this. So basically, this is a way for you to create custom date parts to make your life a whole lot easier and to have more control over your visualization. And of course we could bring this um, into color. You can work with your custom date parts just like you've been working with your original date parts. That is it for this video. That is how you create continuous custom date discrete custom date and that's how you create your own custom date hierarchy in Tableau. See you on the next video.